Hey, welcome back to our program. If you're just joining us, we are broadcasting live from Clear Channel's WGST. That's 640 AM over in Atlanta, Georgia. Huge station, huge talk station over here, one of the largest in the country. Very honored that uh, the whole gang over here let me come on in and be a part of their great program. And, and uh, Chris West, uh, who's the program director, and all the folks over here have been so nice to me as we spent the weekend over here in Atlanta. And uh, by the way, we have a number of Georgia stations we're on over in Augusta, Georgia, WGST. FAM, uh, Rita, Georgia, WTHV, uh, Moultrie, Georgia, WHBS, uh, Savannah. Uh, I've got a great station there, 99.5 FM, Valdosa, Georgia, WTHV, that's 810 AM. So we cover the state of Georgia well on the Jim Brown Common Sense Program. Sure glad you're listening wherever you are all over the country to our show today. Next week, we'll be in Boone, North Carolina, Appalachian State University. Great university up there, some 20,000 kids up in the north of uh, uh, the northwest portion of the state, right on the Tennessee line. Uh, I've got a family summer place up in Linville, North Carolina. I spent some time there, and I'll be in Boone and doing some radio there, also down in Charlotte. So we'll be out through the state of North Carolina next week. Then as football season gets closer, we'll have to ease on back into my home state of Louisiana. So we'll have a lot to talk about with you folks wherever you happen to live, and hopefully to come to your area too. By the way, yesterday I had the great honor, quite frankly, the great pleasure of being at the graduation at the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa. Now, we all know about the terrible tornadoes that came there, killed six students, killed uh, several hundred people in the Tuscaloosa area. And I went to a nephew's graduation there uh, yesterday, Friday night, Saturday night, and uh, went to a memorial service Friday night. Very moving memorial service for these six young men and women who were killed, students at the University of Alabama. They had uh, the chancellor was there, the president. They brought a rose out and presented it to each of the parents of the kids that were killed there in that terrible tornado. Very moving ceremony. A uh, young lady came up to me and said, Mr. Brown, I know you do a national talk show. Will you mention the fact that we still are suffering such a huge loss? We're still in mourning over these kids. I said, I'm glad to be do so. She gave me an armband, by the way. You can't see it if you're not watching us on Justin TV, but it says, uh, uh, University of Alabama remembers. She said, would you wear that armband for the next week or so uh, and, and talk about it on your radio show? I said, sure, I'll be glad to do it uh, to honor all those kids. One Wonderful ceremony, really a classy place over there. Uh, long, oh, long-time friend of mine, Mike Bounds, is a secretary to the entire board of trustees over the entire university system there, and I didn't know that. hadn't seen Mike in years. ran on, ran into him at the ceremony. had some great food. Uh, we go to with all of our family to the uh, uh, Garden Holiday Inn. And we were all staying there. And so uh, we go have a big brunch. We reserved a room, had a big brunch. Now we're thinking, now look, you know, we're from Louisiana. The food is going to be okay, but nothing like what we eat. Well, the super buffet, eggs Benedict, the whole nine yards, wonderful desserts, uh, uh, bananas foster, you name it, was there for us. Could not have been a better meal. So uh, we call the chef out. Uh, my brother-in-law says, bring out the chef. We want to thank him for this outstanding meal because we're pretty critical when you live down in New Orleans. The chef comes out, and he looks over at me. He says, hey, Jim Brown. He says, I remember I voted for you a few times. <laughs> the chef was from New Orleans. No wonder the food was so good in Tusk at the Holiday Inn Garden Express in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, because we had a New Orleans chef right there, and he did a wonderful job. Anyway, a great ceremony for the graduate and remembering. The only other thing I'd mention is, you know, we got talking in our discussion about what's happening with all of this weather. The tornadoes hit initially. We've fought the flooding up and down the Mississippi River, and I've lived most of my life in various locations up and down the Mississippi River. Now we still have the huge amount of flooding up in North Dakota. Of course, we've got tornadoes going out west. The massive drought that's going on, where reservoirs in Texas are just about completely uh, destroyed and are out of water. Uh, we've got reports that came out this week in the newspapers where I live. This is going to be one of the most active hurricane seasons in many, many years. You put all this together with the heat, we are suffering excruciating heat, 110 degrees in Dallas day after day. Down my way, we don't quite hit 100, but you've got 100% humidity. So the uh, heat index is up there at about 112, 114. It's the worst uh, experience of heat we've had on the East Coast, the West Coast, anywhere in the country. 
I don't want to get into the politics of it because I don't understand the politics of it. You know, we have had a, a El Nino we've heard so much about. We've heard global warming. The left and the right get into the fight over, well, this is not really global warming. We don't need to uh, do some implementation. of. I don't know what's going on. But we've got some problems in River City, folks. When I mean River City, I mean throughout the entire world. Because all these things combined shows there is massive changing weather patterns. The world, obviously, is warming up. Uh, It's affecting the oceans. And it may not going to affect us outside of having to have more air conditioning, but certainly going to affect our generations, uh, uh, coming generations, for many years to come. We ought to study it. Take a look at it. I don't know the answer, but to stick our head in a hole and say, well, that's just how it is. We shouldn't really look at it. Scientists should not eat it apart is not being realistic. Hey, we've got lots more to talk about. Got some good interviews with you. Jim Brown here on Common Sense Radio. And you know what? We'll be right back.